Oh my god, y'all. $80 at Mama Kim. <laughs> Good morning guys, welcome to another day. It's 8.48, my plan, I have a cycle class with my friend at 10, but I wanna stick on the running plan, which update on the running plan, y'all. I'm going somewhere super secret and crazy in January, and I didn't realize it's the date of the half marathon. So I was really sad because I was like, fuck, but this place I can't give up, it's like, you'll never even guess where it's at. Like, it's with my friends, and I don't know if we're saying it yet, we'll probably say soon, but. It's the date of the Charleston Half Marathon, but there is another one in Charleston in Folly Beach called Save the Lighthouse, February 3rd. So I signed up for that one yesterday. I did it. I signed up for Half Marathon, but it's February 3rd, and I don't know anyone doing it, so I'm going to post a TikTok today. Hopefully, I know someone doing it, but hopefully my friends will come and support. The only thing is now I'll be... The trip, I think I get back like the 25th or something, so like it'll be two weeks before the race that I'll be in this place. So I gotta make sure to keep up with the stuff on vacation, like in the mornings, which should be interesting, but we can do it. It's the only option. I really wanted to do a race in January or February. There's one in Kiwa that Lauren's doing in December, but December's too soon and the Kiwa registration is closed. So yeah, hopefully where I'm going on vacation will have good running routes or I'll just like do the treadmill, I guess. But I'll still follow the Nike run out. So today, I had to start over though. So it didn't count yesterday, but I guess it's fine because it's like a new race. So my six miles is still in the app, but not on this new plan because I had to make a new plan and say like their new race date, which is February 3rd. So to do this week, it like put me back a week, if that makes sense, because now the race is four to a week. So it's like your long run's five miles, which I did yesterday. So I think today I'm going to do a recovery run of like 30 minutes before my cycle class just to keep up with the running every day. My overnight oat tastes so much better here. I'm having a little bit. I ate some of these last night. I just, I'm on an overnight oats kick. But... I think I know how to perfect the recipe next time, so I'll give you guys it next time. And then after Jive, we have literally appointments on the phone at like 11, 12, and 1. Happy Friday. And then tonight we're going out. This is from Sitchin Swim. It's like a workout set. So cute. My legs are sore. And I went to go, I ordered, so we've got our feet fit at A6. But the ones, the Hoka's were the cutest, but the ones that were most comfy were the A6 Gel Cumulus 25. But they only had them in like... In the store, they only had this, like, navy and pink, which was cute, but, like, I don't know. So I ordered online the same ones because they felt like I was stepping on memory foam in this fun color because, like, I feel like you have to go fun for your runs. So I ordered those, and they ship they shipped out, so we should be good. But for now, it's not my nobles. I'm wearing these, so I have no idea how that's going to go. But let's go. Hi, guys. So real quickly, I just want to thank the sponsor of this video, Peak. So as we all know, the weather is getting colder, and my skin's been suffering. Like, it's super dry, just breaking out, like, a little bit randomly here and there. And so I've been looking into other remedies and other ways to get my skin back together. Like, I know I'm very blessed that I don't have that much acne, knock on wood, which is a huge blessing. But um, I feel like it's just been more uneven and, like, dry than normal. So I'm focusing on that this holiday season. I feel like I've tried to get into matcha, but I can't with the store because they're either too grassy, too clumpy and just don't do what they need to for my skin until I tried peak matcha. I often experience mid-afternoon slumps. We all get that around three to four. Right now I'm taking mine a little late. It's like five, the sun just set, but I have to go somewhere after tonight. And so I just need to keep that energy up, but this has the perfect amount of caffeine that like I can still go to bed at night, but like I can still also go do stuff. So it's the perfect amount. Peak Sun Goddess Matcha is the best for my skin and overall glow and energy. It is shaded for more chlorophyll and antioxidants. Both are powerful and skin ingredients to help like shape and firm and just help your skin to overall glow. Peak also not only has that little caffeine, but it's an ingredient called i-theanine. I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, but that produces a sense of calmness. So it works together with the caffeine to like not give you that like jittery gross feeling. And like you don't get the jittery feeling and then the crash, you just get a sustained good energy. And Peak is the best because they come with these pre-portioned little packets that you can just dump in and your tea will be ready for you, which is perfect because there's no waste and you know exactly how much to like get that perfect flavor. They're organic, have that creamy, delicious umami flavor. I also love how it dissolves in both hot and cold water because sometimes I'm craving hot tea and sometimes I'm craving cold. They are quadruple toxin screened for purity and they use the highest quality ingredients for the most effective results. All right, so while the tea is heating up, I'm just going to dump my little packet into here. And now the tea is heated up. Look how cute my kettle is. Look at that perfect green color. And it's already dissolved, but I give it a good little stir. It smells so good, you guys. Oh my God. 
the perfect pick-me-up tea. It's so warm and comforting and it just makes you feel so good. It makes my skin feel so good. So Peak is hooking you guys up for a limited time. You can get 15% off and a rechargeable frother and a reusable cup for a limited time only if you use the link in my description. Go click that link, go shop Peak and get your matcha to get your skin and your day going. Love you guys, back to the video. Okay. 30 minutes done. It was so much easier than I thought. I think because like today was flat instead of the hill. And then um, it was just 30 minutes. I really like running in Hampton Park. I'm going to do that more. Not for my super long runs, but like for little runs like that or speed runs. I did 2.89 miles in 30 minutes. The run was 30 minutes. I had a 10.22 pace, so like obviously not like as fast as yesterday but like that wasn't the goal the goal was a recovery run and my legs are so sore y'all from the six mile run yesterday so i'm very proud of myself for this run i didn't stop once so that was such a sleigh hampton park is so beautiful and i feel great now let's go to jibe cycling i think i'm gonna regret that and my feet are gonna feel like they're gonna fall off but we're meeting kelsey there i'll probably take it easy at jibe and not like try and kill myself because my legs are going to feel like jello but happy Friday. Let's play the very first night because I just made a TikTok to that and Taylor sang it last night and it's such a good car screaming song. Why is this not an Apple play? All right guys, I literally have done so much today. So like I ran the 30 minute three miles and it was great. And then I went to jive and I just did not go hard and jive because my legs are so sore up here from the six miles and I don't know what, I don't know. But the recovery on the I'm so sore now. I shouldn't have done a cycling workout after, but it's fine. Then I had a psychiatrist appointment because I had to get a new psychiatrist because my one in New York can't like give me my OCD meds anymore. But that took longer than I thought. It was like an hour. It almost felt like therapy. I was like, whoa. But it was good to do. And then, then I went into Idol Coffee, but they were out of food and I felt like I was gonna pass out. So I got a coffee there, an ice cream latte, but Pliables was right around the corner. So I went to get a Pliable and another coffee from them, but I didn't finish theirs because it wasn't that good. And then I took another meeting with somebody at one and then that was 30 minutes and another meeting with somebody at two. So we've had so many meetings and I think I FaceTimed like three different friends while sitting there. And there were just some crazy conversations going on and some crazy random just meetings and all this stuff. So people sitting at that coffee shop are probably so confused. Now it's 3.15 and then Ryan last minute called me and told me we're going on a yacht. <laughs> so do it that way you will because I don't really understand it either but apparently we're going on a sunset cruise on this yacht and then we're gonna do dinner and then meet up with everyone because all our guy friends are going out and we wanna collab groups. I called Mac because I was like, Mac, I need you here to get ready with. I can't get ready alone. She's still in New York for work. I just, she's the best. So are all my friends, but I need my roomie here. But I'm excited. It'll be fun. So that's the plan for this Friday. Yacht, dinner, meet up with everyone and see where the night takes us. But I need some fuel. But apparently since the sun sets at like 520, Sydney and Ryan are going to pick me up at like 415, which is in less than an hour. And we have a lot to do. vlogged any of Sunday and I oh my god y'all we had a good night last night Mac did it she just got <laughs> in from New York I slept for 14 hours she needed to was since Nashville no sleep no sleep my and that's body, not her she doesn't do that no my body's just been rejecting sleep since Nashville so I needed it really bad yeah and so all I've done today this morning my friend Erin had an event and I'll show you guys the little PR box she gave us it's so cute it has these so matches cute. she um has Eventful Erin is her business and she like party plans so if you're ever in the Charleston area and she can plan a sick ass event for you She's the best. So she just had a little event at this brewery company Met up with the girlies did my social things for the day and then I was trying to keep it going and I was like, why am I doing that? It's literally Yeah, yeah, flip the camera, flip the camera. 
This is what we're working with, and this doesn't even do it justice. We woke up to that. I'm hungover on top of that, <laughs> extremely. I'm feeling better now, but like I saw this couch, and Mac was staying here. I was like, I'm fucking not. I'm right here, and it's I like I want this off my face. I don't even know why I put a full face makeup on. Like, and we're gonna watch the new season of Selling Sunset, and I'm gonna sit here and shop on free people and edit photos. And oh, this makes me. So yeah, that's the update. K okay, bye. We'll be here. <laughs> so we'll be here if you're wondering. Hey, mom. We just ordered the fattest to go order um, ever. $80 at Mama Kim's, but <laughs> it's because we wanted a little bit of everything. We Ubered Eats. I don't know. I was on something today. I was like, yeah, like we get a little dinner. Di di no, we, we stayed on the couch. We're watching season two of Selling Sunset, and it's so good. So badly good. Okay. You got it. <laughs> I mean, it's not. It's they really tied it. The lobby looks so good, dude. Really? Are the trees like up? This. Yeah, they have two. Oh my god, it's beautiful. Why don't you rip it? <laughs> there you go. Oh wow, my! Is that the chicken bowl? Look at those chunky noodles. <laughs> I'm so excited. The dumplings. Oh. Mm. <laughs> like nothing can make me happier right now. I have never. Oh my god. I haven't been this excited about food in so long. You know when like your hangover finally like is concluded? Uh-huh. And you just feel like a normal human again and you can celebrate by like not vomiting your food. Wow. That is so good. God. Big reputation and she's releasing rep soon. Oh my god. This oh my so god, I would like everybody to know I fucking predicted this. Can I please have a venti ice, or no, venti hot white mocha? White chocolate mocha? Yeah, what else do I um, and then and can I only have two pumps of white chocolate and then four of sugar-free vanilla? And then um, just the egg white bites, please? Yeah, there we go. That'll be it. Thank you, too. Got the goodies, happy Sunday. We're going to church alone for the first time. Um, I gotta get there, but I'll talk to you guys after. Wait a baby, was it over when you lay down on your couch? Okay, I'm back from second Sunday. It's like that temperature where it's like, it's like hot or it's freezing outside, but then you go inside and you get hot and then it's just back and forth. But second Sunday was so cute. Basically what it is, it's in Charleston. They shut down King Street and all these like shops and vendors pop up every second Sunday of the month. I missed the first one that I was here for last month. And then now I made this one and I got some cute stuff. My battery light's blinking, so I'll do a haul at home. But I'm so hungry, and I got a beach bowl because I saw beaches right there. You guys know this is my favorite acai place. And so I'm gonna enjoy this a little bit, and then we're gonna go home and see if we can fit in a run before the sun goes down outside. But I had such a good time with Keaton and Carrie, and then Keaton's roommate. They were just the sweetest, and I'm obsessed with them. We play kickball together, and we have the same guy friends. So I'm like, let's just hang out outside of kickball, and I adore them. So, super good Sunday so far. Let's keep the good vibes going. I'm gonna eat this. Okay. So we're back. Right when we got back, we decided to go on a run to keep training for my half marathon. Today we went to go do the hill workout, but I thought it was a speed workout, but it's a, a hill interval workout. And when I started running outside, I started running like right before the sunset. And then I just thought I would be at the sunset run because this the intervals only lasted 21 minutes. But then I realized it was a hill workout. So after I ran outside for five minutes, the warm up, he was like, okay, get to the bottom of the hill. And I was like, what? So then I realized I'm right by my gym. So I did the rest of the workout on the tread so I could actually like do the hills like he was telling me to. So it didn't capture all the Nike run, run out, but it did end up being like 1.82 miles. And then I did, I don't think I stopped it. I just paused it. It was 21 minutes. 1.2 miles, and I would go from like four, 45 second burst of uphill, not going as hard, to like sprinting at 7.5 on an uphill, 
to like recovery. Just that like five times through those three intervals. And it was really good, nice sweat. And like, at least I know I stayed on track today. I'm proud of myself, even though I had a super eventful day. Today was so good, you guys. I'm gonna talk to you guys about this while I unbox. This is from Beach Riot. Oh my God, I can't believe Taylor's performing again. Like I don't even have that capacity in me. Need a little boost, cute. This is from Beach Riot. It's shampoo, repairing shampoo and repairing conditioner. You can always use some of that. And then if you need a little boost, hair treatment. Three minute rinse off. I wonder if I can like do my Sophia Richie buns with that. I haven't done one of the Sophia Richie buns because I can't find a certain hair mask. Like what hair masks do y'all use that like we can do those, those buns with. But I went to go to church. I went to Seacoast. It's in Mount Pleasant. And I went by myself. So it was super nerve wracking. But I'm so glad we went, you guys. The hardest part was walking in and walking out because that's always stressful. Like, not sure if you're going to see people. But after I got in, there was like an upstairs area. Po wait, Poppy Times I Am Beauty Project. Oh, so cute. Oh my God, it's a Christmas Poppy. Sign me up. Look how cute this Christmas is. Cranberry fizz. So cute. Strawberry rose. And then it's like a collab with this beauty. Lip and sip. These lip glosses look so good. Love you, Poppy. But basically, I just haven't been to church in forever and haven't been making a priority, and that's not how I want it to be. So today, I felt so I need to start like just going out. I mean, I'm still probably gonna go out Saturdays, but I want to not go as hard on Saturday so I can like be okay Sunday because I had the best Sunday today. But the message was really good at church. I took my notes, and like there's like an up, it's like a huge like concert venue, but there's like an upstairs area. You can sit and like look down upon, insert some of my clips from church there. And yeah, so I sat up there and like almost had the road to myself. There's a couple people, but like it was easy to like keep to yourself. But, like also like everyone's so friendly and welcoming. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to like continue that journey. I'm definitely gonna go again. Some of my friends said they want to go with me next time, so yeah, I won't be alone next time. But proud of myself and yeah I can't wait to keep exploring that what is this team Roback. I do not even remember getting this email I'm so confused guys I'm so confused I don't remember a PR email or buying this oh my god this is so soft though it's like a woman's cropped hoodie so cute slay a little white tennis dress. I love those. Women's performance hoodie, the squat drop. This will be your go-to hoodie. Wait, these are gonna be good because like for my long runs when it gets cold out, I can, these, these can be like my designated like workout hoodies. Oh, these sweats look so soft. These look like good materials to work out in and like run in. And like, I'm running this marathon in February. Like it's gonna be cold. More sweatpants. Wait, this looks so cute. Oh, yep, this is my go-to hoodie of the winter. Yes, finally, I thought this was lost. This is my throw blanket, and it wasn't showing up in the package room for weeks. So I got this color to hopefully tie in the burlap on the pillow I have coming, and the pillows I have, and then the lamps. So hopefully this will look good and coastal at the end of my bed. So excited to get rid of that, or move that one out here, the black checkered one. Oh, and I never showed you guys. This is Erin's box. Her little matches, her eventful Erin. I'm gonna keep these. And like maybe me and Matt could start like, like a match collection. Like that one's from Baba's, which is my favorite place. Bar 167, these are Port House. These are a bunch of places in Charleston. She also gave us candlefish matches, the library at candlefish and a little candle. She is so cute. And then this is the shirt I chose, the blue color. So cute. She makes these for like a bunch of different bachelorette like hot spots. So she made her Charleston one. So awesome. <gasps> Guys, look what I ordered. Why is this teapot so ginormous? I want to start making tea at night. Maybe I'll make my first cup tonight. Wait, this is freaking stunning. It's from Amazon, I'll link it in my storefront. If you can't tell it like has some blue hues to it. Oh, she is stunning. That is beautiful. Now, what I got today. So this is crazy, but I want to start a podcast. 
And I feel like I have a lot to freaking talk to you guys that I can't get across on here. And I feel like every podcast I've ever been on, I just don't shut the fuck up. And it goes on for so long. Like I've been on six or seven podcasts, maybe. Maybe five or six. And I don't know. I just feel like I really want to start a podcast. Me and Autumn did have one, but it's really hard to do with two people. And I loved ours and I love Autumn. But we just couldn't continue it only because like it was so hard to like go over to each other's house or do it virtually and technology issues and like be on the same schedule. So yeah, today I literally just went to Target and bought two mics. So we're gonna try and set these up today. I got the NT USB mini and hopefully I can figure out how to plug it into my computer. This is for if, when I have to start having guests. The first episode's gonna be solo. I really just committed to the bit and just bought those. So hopefully they work and hopefully I can pair this to them and then those can connect to my computer. But we shall see. Um, so let me know if you guys will listen to that. This is a tax thing. You don't need that. Tax, tax, tax. Okay, now what I got after church, I went to Second Sunday on King, which I told you guys what that is in the car. Look what this girl had. Her Instagram is indulge in art, at indulge in art. She makes stuff with acrylic paint out of newspaper. I saw this and obviously I had to get it. Are you kidding me? Like, guys, it's literally reputation that's coming out. This is her Speak Now Taylor's version. I don't care anything about happened to me. I was 19, except the songs I wrote. Oh, it's just so beautiful. And it's like different like clips clipped together all about Taylor Swift. I'm obsessed with it. I don't know where I'm gonna put it because it doesn't go with my room at all or our living room, but we're gonna find a spot for her. And then I went to Gasp, which a ton of you tag me in all the time and say, you need to go here, you need to go here. And I go here, I've been there. This is my first time buying, not my first time, but I went and bought stuff. It's where I got Mac or Harry Styles stuff, but this store's so Taylor Swift coded. Guys, look at my mug. It's a Swifty mug. I've been eyeing it and I finally got it because I was like, after last night, like, I mean, I know I'm a Swifty, but like after last night, I got a car freshener. I also ordered something on Etsy to go in my car. That's her, so I'll see which one I like better or if they can go together, but that'll go in my car. It's from Lover Era, Scent Ocean. Little car decal. And then I got these to go in my car, these car coasters, the blue to match Star Girl. But that's what I got. It's second Sunday on King. Alright, now we gotta go clean up and put things away. Okay, I'm showered and have a salad. I'm probably gonna have some of my leftover um hibachi stuff from last night. It was like the vegetable stir fry from Mama Kim's, but I'm gonna shop on Revolve and go to bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this weekend in my life in Charleston. Stay tuned for this week in my life coming up. I love you guys. Good night. Wait, hold on. I'm so sorry guys. We never discussed the Eras tour last night. Y'all saw me freaking out over her playing Is It Over Now or Endgame. Either way, she put the Is It Over Now mashup into Out of the Woods, and she made that face like, y'all know what the fuck is about to happen. Like, y'all aren't ready. She was like, and then she went, remember when we had the breaks too soon? I lost it. Is It Over Now alone was enough of a loss. Into Out. I can't believe that. And then back into Is It Over Now. And then she sets her little hiney down and starts to play Endgame. There's literally text messages I sent to my friends saying, watch her play Endgame for Travis. In game, she confessed to the whole entire world, a sold out world tour, that this man is hers and they're in game, and everyone fuck off. And she's like looking at him smiling, and then love her. She was so happy and not like stiff and disassociating, like she did at the beginning of the tour. Not like you know what I mean. And she was like looking at him, and then him and Pop Swift were so cute with the lanyard and the holding up. We will stay and the his reaction to the. Can we just talk about um, Karma? Is the guy on the cheese? Karma is the guy in the Chiefs. I wake up, I saw a TikTok saying, I woke up this morning, the first thought to cross my brain was Karma is the guy in the Chiefs. Like not even what time is it, where am I, where am I? Karma is the guy in the Chiefs. Like that is the craziest thing she's ever done actually, I think. And then the kiss, oh my God, I've watched this video 10 million freaking times. The run run kiss and how he had his hands by his back and said, I'm gonna let you decide what the fans get to see and she just threw her arms around him and kissed. I can't, they're so fucking cute. That made my whole night and now she's on stage again and I'm like, Mother, you just fed us so much. I can't believe you're going again. Anyways, that's all. Love you guys. Good night.